Mr. Speaker, tama ba yung nababasa po namin na you have intelligence funds in the amount of 21 million? That amount to 30% of that office's budget component, Mr. Speaker? Yes, Mr. Speaker, it is meant uh, for intelligent fund, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, bakit may intelligence fund? Bakit may intelligence funds po ang MMDA? Are we engaged in intelligence and counterintelligence? Uh, Mr. Purposes. Speaker, my dear uh, colleague, uh, ang Metro Manila Development po ay part ng uh, MNAT at uh, NTL FCAC. Opo, bahagi po ang Metro Manila Development Authority. At ginagamit po ito para sa panguhuli ng mga color room at yung mga tiwaling mga empleyado. Uh, Mr. Speaker, so we, sa MMDA po, we have intelligence funds of 21 million being used on the staff that are, ano po, uh, Mr. Speaker, may we ask, ano po yung uh, qualification na sa paghuhuli? May we have that on record? Mr. Speaker, my dear colleague, MNAT is uh, Itrong Manila Network Against Terrorism. Mr. Speaker. Opo, oh, oh. Ito po ay uh, part ng uh, NTF LCAC at approved ng uh, yung constitution po ng MNAT approved ng Metro Manila Council Mr. Speaker that is surprising po no to have that kind of uh, that we have a budget uh, thank you Mr. Speaker for that uh, uh, admission that is something definitely that we have to consider in studying the budget uh, akala ko po yung intelligence fees dito would refer to something pero intelligence funds po talaga po ito how timely so Mr. Speaker we'll go back to that na lang po no in a later time. That's something I think that we really have to review. Yes. Um, Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Speaker, my dear colleague, kaklaruhin ko lang po, it is not from the GAA. It is a local funded, locally funded po, from the Metro Manila Council. Yes, Mr. Speaker, babalikan ko po yung punto na yun, no, between LGU and uh, GAA, as I mentioned earlier. Ilan lamang ito sa mga naungkat at nabiso ni One Rider Party List Representative Ramon Rodrigo Gutierrez nang humarap sa plenaryo ang MMDA para sa budget proposal sa susunod na taon. Maging ang ilan pang mambabatas ay nabigla ng amini ni Congresswoman Mitch Kahayon Uy na kabilang nga sa 4.12 billion pesos ang 21 million pesos na intelligence funds. May ilang katanungan si Congressman Gutierrez sa pamunuan ng MMDA na nakulangan siya sa sagot kaya iminungkahin niya na pansamantala munang suspendihin ang panukalang budget ng ahensya. Talking about the budget, Aita, Redundant po. As a hybrid agency where it gets one hand from the GAA, another from the LGU, kapag tayo yung nagtatanong ngayon, it was used a while ago as a defense, Mr. Speaker. Nagtanong tayo to call certain components at sinabi nila, galing po yan sa LGU fund. So ganun po ba ito? When they need from the national government, they ask. But when we ask about the local, they say it is their own. So Madam, Mr. Speaker, these are some questions that we have. And of course, Lastly, yung failure to give us the data, and we feel that there are questions between us here in the minority. So, Mr. Speaker, given that we feel that we are not satisfactorily answered, oh no, in behalf of the minority, this representation moves that we suspend consideration of the budget of the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority until our questions have been satisfactorily answered. At dahil sa nasabing pagdinig niya lang na diskubre ang tungkol sa 21 million pesos na intelligence funds ng MMDA, inuna niya munang questionin ang tungkol sa flood control programs ng ahensya, lalo't kamakailan lang ay nagmistulang ilog ang ilang bahagi ng EDSA, dahilan para hindi ito madaanan ng mga motorista. Pero bago tayo magpatuloy, isang mabilis lang lalo na kung naghahanap kayo ng minimalist leather wallet para sa inyong bagong lisensya, Nabukod sa gawa sa tunay na balat ng hayop ay matibay rin dahil manuman ang paggawa hanggang sa pagtahi. Mag-subscribe lang sa Torch Ladder Crafts para makita nyo kung paano ito ginagawa at i-follow na rin ang kanilang Facebook page para malaman nyo kung saan ito pwedeng mabili. Marami na rin silang design na pwede mong pagpilian depende sa pangangailangan mong wallet sa pang-araw-araw. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, doon na po tayo sa flood control, everyone's favorite topic. Mr. Speaker, may plano na po ba tayo sa Metro Manila? Is it uh, Metro Manila flood control plan or is it provided by the DPWH? Mr. Speaker, uh, my dear colleague, meron po ang uh, MMDA na plano at DPWH na plano for the flood control. At uh, ito po yung flood-free Metro Manila by 2030. 
Mr. Speaker, anong year po ito ginawa yung plano? Kasi bi- naging hot topic yung flooding recently. And in fact, it was mentioned earlier na mga flood-prone areas pinanggit. But uh, personally, we could say a few days ago, sa EDSA nga lang, nagkabaha rin. So I wouldn't know what's flood-prone and what isn't anymore po. No? So Mr. Speaker, we just want to ask, anong taon po ginawa tong plano? Uh, Mr. Speaker, my dear colleague, uh, 2013 po, uh, DPWH uh, had that uh, proposed. Mr. Speaker, so since 2013, 10 years na po tayo, uh, how much percent po of that plan has been followed? Um, Mr. Speaker, my dear colleague, as I have said, as I have mentioned, nasa DPWH po ito, uh, kaya po uh, ang sa atin lang po ay minor lamang po. Yun po yung sinabi ko, binabanggit ko kanina, na ang major po mostly uh, ng mga uh, project ay sa uh, DPWH at minor po ay sa MMDA only uh, operations ng pumping stations. Mr. Mr. Speaker, Speaker, I beg to disagree po. Kasi yes, in your operations kasama yung sa pumping, maintenance, what not. Pero meron po kayong 1.3 billion locally funded. So whether or not that is the t- uh, lion's share of flood control projects, my flood control po ang MMDA. And in fact, you are involved with the flood map, uh, the flood plan. So ano na po ang nangyayari dito? Yan ang tanong po namin, Mr. Speaker. Opo. Uh, Mr. Speaker, my, uh, my dear colleague, opo, tama po. Meron pong uh, 1.72. Uh, 1.7. Speaker, Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Speaker. So yun nga po, 2013 pa po ito ginagawa. Pero by the time siguro na matapos to, may ibang flood-prone areas na. So parang catch-up lang po ito. The same exact issue that was brought up with the DPWH during the pre-budget deliberations. Uh, Mr. Speaker, my, de- uh, my dear colleague, uh, according to DPWH, uh, dun po sa kanila pong uh, pinrograma na flood-free Metro Manila, matatapos po ito ng 2030. Mr. Speaker, my dear colleagues. Politics. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We do hope na mangyayari po yan and then by 2030. Uh, we it would not need a catch-up plan. So, Mr. Speaker, um, regarding po pa rin sa flood, it was mentioned during the pre-budget deliberations, yung DPWH is big ticket, tapos yung MMDA, yung mga maliliit. At first, ops, but now we see, there is uh, 1.3 billion in locally funded. May flood control naman po talaga yung DPWH. So, how do we then differentiate the mandate? Kasi po, ito yung concern ng ibang kongs po, no? In fact, if you would remember, during a privileged speech of one congressman asking for the abolition of the MMDA, Yung one concern was walang coordination between the MMDA and the LGU. So, meron na pong LGU concerned with this matter, meron ng DPWH, tapos yun yung MMDA pa. Um, Mr. Speaker, my dear colleague, uh, with due respect to the gentleman, meron pong coordination ang MMDA para po wala pong uh, o, o complication. Meron pong uh, coordination ang LGU at ang MMDA para po walang overlapping, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Speaker. Coordination is ideal but it is not final po, no? Nagkakaroon nga. As men- I, I remember, uh, if you'd recall, Madam uh, Good Sponsor, there were questions from our fellow congressmen about flood control projects from the MMDA clashing with flood control projects at DPWA. So, isn't it time, high time siguro, that we have a differentiation between what projects would qualify as MDA, what projects at DPWH? Because if we look outside of Metro Manila, the DPWH conducts, uh, implements flood control projects, kahit sa mga munisipyo, kahit sa mga LGU. So, parang redundancy po yung nakita natin dito, Mr. Speaker. And this has been echoed since the last budget, if I recall correctly. Uh, Mr. Speaker, my dear colleague, uh, Metro Manila po kasi is treated as parang special administrative region kasi wala pong governor. So, uh, nakakaroon naman po ng uh, talagang uh, close coordination with the LGU ang pagkakaiba nga lamang po ng uh, mga projects ng uh, DPWH at ng uh, MMDA maliliit lang po talaga ang uh, projects ng mga nasa Metro Manila dahil nga po as we have mentioned earlier minor lamang po ang uh, MMDA talaga pong ang uh, malalaki pong mga uh, projects pagdating po sa flood, flood control ay nasa DPWH so, uh, uh, yun, yun po, uh, ang Metro Manila po ay treated as a special administrative region. Parang ganun po. Mr. Speaker, yun nga po, the majority goes to DPWH. And that's understandable because they have the expertise when it comes to engineering. Why don't we give all of the budget to the DPWH and makipag-coordinate lang ang MMDA? Because after all, that is the mandate. MMDA shall perform planning, monitoring, and coordinative functions. Bakit biglang may implementation? 
Mr. Speaker, my dear colleague, uh, nasa MMD po kasi ang flood management. Uh, gaya po nga ng sinabi natin, ang DPWH or yung mga pumping stations, uh, it is implemented even yung mga in, uh, foreign funded na mga projects, nasa DPWH po yan. Complementary lamang po ang MMDA na kung saan monitoring na lang po at uh, yung uh, mga pumping station, yun po yung sinasagawa ng MMDA. So kung wala naman po uh, sa MMDA ang uh, bagay na to, wala rin naman pong uh, uh, magmumonitor para rito. So nagtutulungan po ang MMDA at ang DPWH. Mr. Mr. Speaker, my dear colleague. Mr. Speaker, my good colleague, uh, good sponsor, co uh, precisely po, no? complementary but confusing. That's why I would suggest perhaps it's high time we review. Might not be this budget, but it's time to consider na lahat ng locally funded. I understand operations, flood control, dun po sa kanila because there's water pumping and what other uh, processes that are necessary. Pero yung locally funded, baka it's high time, ibalik na po ito sa DPWH. Mm. After all, sila naman po yung may expertise. In fact, they have the equipment. Baka pwede, by admin na lang po yan.